Hi guys, today I'm craving for burger, but since I'm on a diet, I'll just make one on blender. So this is a tutorial how to make this double cheese burger. Let's go! First, delete the cube, shift A, mask, circle, open setting and change particles to 16 and the fill type to and gone. Go to the edit mode. E to extrude, go back to object mode, shift D, Z, make a copy for the patty, go back to our pan, edit mode, hovering in front of the side edges, Control R to add a loop cut, left click and drag it up pretty close to the top face. Select loop the bottom edges, Ctrl P to add bevel, adjust the number of bevel cut by scrolling your middle mouse wheel, go back to object mode, add subdivision surface modifier, render to 1, level to 2, right click, shade smooth. Now, let's work on the patty. Add subdivision surface modifier. Set render to 1. Go to the edit mode. Hovering in front of the side edges, Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Move it down close to the bottom. Add another loop cut. Move it up close to the top. Go back to object mode. I'll scale it up a little bit. Right click, see it smooth. Now to change the shape a bit, add displace modifier. Go to texture properties, add new. Set to clouds. Adjust the size. Go back to Displace Modifier, decrease the strength, and now the patty looks slightly bumpy. Before making the next layer, I will set the camera first. Press 0 to go to the camera view, select the camera box. On the output properties, change X resolution to 1080 to make it square. Select the square, G, press the middle mouse button, and adjust, position it as you like. Go to Render Properties, change Render Engine to Cycles. Go back to our burger. Now, the next layer is cheese. For the cheese, shift A, mass, plane, G and move it up. 7 on the numpad keyboard to go to the top view, S, and adjust your cheese size. Go to the edit mode, right click, subdivide, number of cut to 15, go back to object mode. On physics properties, select clothes. Uh, oops, I forget to set my scene back to the scene one. Okay, now select the patty, select collision, then press play button to test. Next, I will add some thickness to our gist. Go to material properties, add solidify modifier, offset to 1 and thickness to 0 0.05 play again okay 
Now add subdivision surface modifier. Right click, see it smooth. Next, we will make onions. Shift A, mass, circle. Set verticals to 16 and fill to nothing. G and move up. Go to the edit mode. E, Z and extrude up. Switch to face selection. Select loop the faces. E, S to extrude in. And that's it. Now, back to the object mode. 7 on the numpad keyboard. S and scale down. G and set the position. Alt-D to duplicate S component. Set the position. Shift select all the onions. 1 on the numpad keyboard to go to the front view. G, Z, and move down the onions. Press 0 to check how it looks on the camera. Next, we will make the tomato. Shift A, mass, circle, left vertical to 16, change field type to end gone, G, Z, move up, enter edit mode, E to extrude, Ctrl R and add a loop cut, S, scale a bit. I'll add subdivision surface modifier first. Back to edit mode, select loop the loop cut line, G, Z, move it up, add another loop cut, move it down, one on the numpad for front view, Alt Z to enter X-ray mode, select the bottom edges, S and scale down a bit. I'll keep it this simple, one for front view. G, Z, and move it down. 7 for top view. S, and scale down. You can see it smooth here before duplicate them. G, and position it. Alt, D to duplicate as component. When you duplicate objects as component, every change you make on the edit mode will apply to all the copies. Zero to check the view from camera. Next, shift A, mesh, circle, fill type to triangle fan, verticals to 20. Go to the edit mode, G, Z, move it up, switch to vertex selection, select loop the vertex, select, checker deselect, G, Z, and move up. Go back to object mode, add subdivision to face modifier. Render to 1, level to 2, add solidify, thickness to 0.04, right click, see it smooth. 1 on the numpad for the front view, G, Z, move down. I'll adjust the tomato position, since we did not add much detail, I will try to cover them a bit. I'll change the origin of my lattice. Object, set origin. Origin to geometry. Now I can scale it from the center of the lattice.
Since this part looks empty, I'll modify the onion. Go to edit mode. A to select all. Shift D to duplicate. Right click to left it in place. S to scale down. And repeat once again. Now I will copy the peri and cheese. Select both items. Alt D. Z. Move it up. Go back to scene 1. Play. I will reposition the camera view. Now let's make the top one. Shift A, Mesh, Circle. Field type to end con. G, Z, Move up. Go to the edit mode. Switch to face selection, 3 on the keyboard for shortcut, E and extrude up, Ctrl R, add loop cut, move it down, select loop the top edges, Ctrl B to bevel, go to the object mode, right click, shade smooth. Add subdivision surface modifier, levels to 2, render to 1, 1 on the numpad keyboard for front view, G, Z, and move down the bun. I'll shaping my bun a little bit. Next, I'll add sesame seeds on the bun. Select the top bun. Switch to weight paint. Paint the center area where you want the seeds be. Go back to object mode. Go to geometry nodes page. Add new. Next, make the sesame. Shift A, mass, plane. I'll go back to layout page for better view. Enter edit mode, right click, subdivide. Number of cut to 3. I'll shaping the sesame. Change to face select, A select all, E extrude up, Ctrl R add loop cut, S scale a bit, go to object mode, add subdivision surface modifier, render to 1, right click, shade smooth, S and scale down, go back to geometry nodes. Shift A, search and add distribute point on faces. Add join geometry. Connect group input to join geometry. Shift A, search and add instance on point.
Add Sysamis node by drag and place from the item list. Connect Geometry to Instance. Connect Density to Blank Point on the Group Input. On the Modifier Properties, change Density Attribute to Group Vertex. Select the Sesame, Scale Down, Ctrl A and Apply Scale. Select the Panakin, Shift A, Search and Add Math. Change Add to Multiply. If you check the whip pane, the red color get more seeds and there is none on the dark blue area. Next, connect rotation to rotation. If you find the sesame are placed weirdly, go back to distribute points on faces, change the seat number until you get the best look. Next, switch to Material Preview. We will add Floor, Shift A, Mass, Plain, S, and Scale Up. Zero to check the Camera View. Switch to Render Mode, Shift A, Add Area Light. Change the power and position it. By the way, this is lagging too much. I'll turn off the noise for a few port. Okay, this is much better. I'll delete the area light before. I'll add sun instead. R to rotate the position of sunlight. I'll change the color to warmer color. Next, let's give material to the model. First the floor, add new material, change base color. Then the bun. You can rename its color if you want. Next, the cheese. Patty. Lettuce. Tomato. and onion.
You can also add color for the sesame. Next, let's give in some detail. Select the top bun. Go to shading tab. Shift A, search and add gradient texture. Connect color to base color. Select the gradient texture. Press Ctrl T to expand the setting. Change Y rotation to 90. Add color ramp. Change the black and white color to your punch color. Next, let's give some texture to the patty. Select the patty. Shift A. Search and add noise texture. Connect to base color. Ctrl T to expand the setting. Connect object to factor. Add color ramp. Set your paddy color. Add bump. Connect normal to normal. Connect fact to fact. And to bump height. And tone down the strength. Next for the cheese, lettuce, tomato, and onion. Decrease the roughness to make it look a bit shiny. For the onion, I'll add more setting. Shift A, search and add wave texture. Connect color to base color. Add color ramp. Change the black and white color to onion color. I don't know how to make it looks like onion. Whatever, I'll just use this one. Now it's finally done, guys. You did a good job. That's it for today's video. Please give it a like if you enjoy it. And if you want more tutorial video like this, please subscribe too to help me grow this channel. Last but not least, if you have any suggestion and request, please kindly let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.